this episode, we had another Make-A-Wish Pony. She was called Angel Wings. Hello, this is Lux. And I'm Ember. And this is our thoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 6, Episode 24, Top Bolt. Yeah, pretty fun little episode. Enjoyable. At first, I thought the Friendship lesson maybe something to do with the way Spitfire was doing the training. And then we met those two ponies, I was like, eh. Yeah, I think we're going with them. Just not quite sure what the problem was going to be. Either Sky was going to be like too controlling or something, or um, she was going to be too shy and they had to help her or something like that. But it was kind of interesting that she was helping him too much and she was actually the stronger flyer. Probably because she was helping she was helping him all the time, along with the fact that she was stronger at first as well. Yes, well, if Judging by cutie marks is a way to judge relative age. She already had hers when she met Sky. Also, I knew Sky was trouble as soon as we saw the lineup. It's like, okay, he's the one who's standing out. <laughs> uh, like anime main characters and their hair. Main character, main character, main character, main character, main character. They're all in the same show. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Sky needed a serious attitude adjustment. Before we even knew what Vapor was doing for him, I was like, okay, you're an overconfident little jerk. Rainbow Dash, will you please Sonic Rainboom this guy into next week? Uh, yeah. And I also kind of liked his hair. I was like, are they going for some kind of like windblown guile look? So, so if I play Guile's theme over his flying routine, would it, like, match? <laughs> Guile's theme works with everything. <laughs> that was pretty much the whole point. Mm -hmm. It works with everything. Though, this seems to be a smaller class than the one we saw when Rainbow Dash was training. Mm -hmm. And speaking of that, it actually looks like, if you pay attention to Sky's family, you'll actually see a little baby Pegasus who has the same colorings as the rival pony slash friend that Rainbow Dash had in that episode. Mm. So she may be a younger relative to this guy. Also, it looks like Fluttershy may be cousins to Vapor Trail because their fathers look almost the same. They have a strong family resemblance. Or nieces, whatever, nephews, however that works. <laughs> family tree stuff. <laughs> Possible, but... Yeah, that whole only child thing of, oh, God, my parents won't leave me alone. And then the whole middle child syndrome. Notice me, anybody! <laughs> mm -hmm. I was the younger of two siblings. I didn't have that problem. I had the uh, problem of like, oh, my brother, he's got everything. I'm going to follow him around and bug the living heck out of him. <laughs> Uh, spoiled rotten only child here, though in retrospect, my family was pretty broke. I felt spoiled, though. Uh, I never felt spoiled. I also never hated my parents. Give it time. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on away from our own personal stuff. <laughs> uh, so any particular nitpicks with this episode? It was nice diversity in the lineup of ponies, but it really felt like we glossed over them compared to the kind of attention that we paid to the pony lineup in Rainbow Dash's Wonderbolt Trials. Mm. Also, the wing pony versus lead pony in the previous trial for Rainbow Dash was assigned based on trial results, so... The constant assumption by Sky that Vapor was going to be his wing pony, you know, those things are assigned by the Academy based on your overall individual flight tests. Hmm, good point. You know, and Spitfire would have excellent reason not to pair the two of them together because they've worked together for so long, that would be an advantage. See how well they can work with others. Mm-hmm. Though this also shows what people have been speculating on for a while with Spitfire herself is she kind of has a different personality when she's a drill sergeant compared to when she's out with people she's friendly with or with the public. Yes, it's like this is work so this has to be strict because we have to go through these things because we need the best flyers because we do all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. 
I also liked how she would switch back and forth when she was interacting with Rainbow Dash, and sometimes she would go over and whistle at Rainbow Dash, because like, nope, drove sergeant time. Yes, it's like, you're interfering with my classes, so now I have to get tough with you. Mm -hmm. I also like that little part at the end. Please pick the other option, because I don't want Spitfire to be mad at me. <laughs> yes, because that was kind of a quick reconciliation. Even though they've been friends for a long time, Vapor has basically lied to him for the entire course of their friendship. Twilight handling the classroom bit, she was just so excited and... It really felt fake to me where she was like, oh yes, with my stellar teaching abilities. We have not seen her excel at teaching. Organizing, yes. Writing things, yes. Teaching, not as much, and Lux would like to contradict me. Go ahead. Well, she actually has been teaching the Cutie Mark Crusaders, and she's been doing a very good job at that. Yes, and there are three different tasks. It's mainly her friendship teaching of taking on a, you know, special student that seems to utterly fail. She doesn't really utterly fail. She only slightly fails. And when she fails, she ends up failing in such a way that it's more like how Celestia taught her. Yes, but on Celestia's part, it's assumed to be intentional. Mm -hmm. Stumbling into the correct path while is still the correct path is not an ideal teaching style. We don't need another pony like the one from the movie that shall not be named. Because that was a failed student. You need to watch the other movies. I will make you watch the other movies. It is very rare that a sequel is better than the original. Yes, this is one of those rare moments. But moving on, one of these days I will torture Ember with these movies. <laughs> You may not hear from me again for a while, or ever. Um. Yeah, as an earth pony, I'm pretty sure I can pound you into the dirt. That's if you can get past my shields, or how fast I can teleport away. That's assuming you have the stamina to teleport far enough away to get away from me. <laughs> you are not Pinkie Pie. No. Uh, once again, moving on. Uh... Tangents are fun. As you can tell, we don't have a whole lot to say about this episode. You know, we didn't see much from the other ponies. The friendship problem was an interesting one because Sky was an overconfident jerk and Vapor had very low self-esteem. We also um, had Rainbow Dash and Twilight learning lessons as well. Yes, in different teaching and communication styles and... The issues that those can cause. I did really like the bullhorn. The bullhorn. That's the one with the mic attached to it. Uh, the foghorn. Mm -hmm. And I also liked uh, Twilight's expression when uh, Vipper finally went, No! I was helping you! And she's like... <laughs> <laughs> no one can see your expression, Lex. <laughs> I made the sound and they have watched the episode. <laughs> it was just this wonderful, oh my god. God, I wasn't expecting that. It was like, <laughs> yay! I remember Dash is like, no. It was like, huh? <laughs> uh, that was like the best expression Twilight has ever given. I was like... Uh, I still say less than zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's her best crazy expression. This is her best, oh, I'm surprised. <laughs> you didn't clarify. Yes. And speaking of clarifications, if you can't tell yet, I'm drawing Vapor Trail. <laughs> I like the design and I was like, oh, she's cute. <laughs> I'll just draw her, put her up on screen. The wings came out pretty nice. <laughs> uh, one thing that was a little overplayed because you just knew it was going to happen was the constant Rainbow Dash having to go back to the Academy. I was just there. Yes, Dash, that's how this works. You start an episode by saying how much fun you're going to have on your vacation, and the first thing that happens is your vacation gets hijacked. Mm-hmm. Superheroes never have a vacation. And by saying that you're happy to be home and you can finally start doing all the things that you began listening at the beginning of the episode means that something else is going to come up. It was very mean of Twilight and the Wonderbolt to laugh at that situation. It's like, okay, if it's an emergency, the Wonderbolt pony shouldn't be laughing that much and twilight 
you know, you were just at the Wonderbolt Academy too. So you two both had the same experience during that duration. And you were just saying how happy you were to be home. And now you're laughing at the fact that your friend has to go back to school. Well, not school, because she's a full Wonderbolt, but has to go back to HQ. Mm hmm Kind of reminds me how back in with the, like, the, I think they were like the 80s cartoons, every episode had to end with everyone going, oh, ha, 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 Yes. Even if it was something that really wasn't funny. Like one of those, God, were they flying men or ape men? There were too many races in the He-Man universe. One of the younger ones using a remote-controlled toy to chase Orko around. And Orko was begging for help, and apparently this was funny. So wonder more of us aren't jerks when we're taught that things like this are funny. Mm -hmm. It also reminds me of the fact that apparently everyone had a collective unconscious of what exactly happened in the Thundercats series. But when you watch the series, like, none of that actually happened. But we all remember it happening. Huh? <laughs> but back to My Little Pony. Yes. So I would say that was my biggest down was that running joke. It's like, that's been so done. I mean, I know nothing's truly new anymore, but you can do things in a new and different way. So that was probably the biggest down for me. This was just kind of a mild episode. I liked it better than Twilight's last time she was called by the castle map. The fields of McColts. Oy. Though I think it's interesting that both times she was paired up with a Pegasus. Hmm, interesting. I did like her charts, though. Her charts are always fun <laughs> in this episode. Mm. I can't remember this from scratch. Jeez, you have a photographic memory there, don't you, Twilight? Well, she had a lot to go through learning to be a flyer as an adult. Be like, if for your whole life you s were sitting and suddenly found out you had legs. Ready to wrap things up? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love the enthusiasm. <sighs> ah, well, it was definitely a good episode. It was definitely like, probably if I was gonna give it a number, it'd be like a good solid seven. It wasn't really excellent, it wasn't really bad, it wasn't really in the middle. It was just a nice episode to watch. Very MLP. Had lots of good characters in it, little touches here and there, had its great moments, had its funny moments. Just all around, nice solid episode. It's a nice episode, didn't really, you know, grab me. I didn't have any strong reactions to it, either positive or negative. I wish we could have skipped the whole running gag with Rainbow Dash. And I wish we could have gotten more time with the other ponies, because they went through and gave them all such different body types. They weren't all made from the same asset design. Because it wasn't just, okay, they're all recolors of each other, or we've resized them. You actually had several different body types. They're getting better at doing that with all the background ponies. Almost all of them are animated now. All of them have different main styles. We're getting different body types. Yeah, so that's a nice touch. It just would have been nice if we could have seen more of all that was going on because okay vapor and sky made it in did any of the others are they all rejects are they going home heartbroken did they succeed are they coming back next year i mean i know we didn't find out a lot most of that from rainbow dash's trial but this was a much smaller class mm -hmm. well i hope you've enjoyed our thoughts on my little pony friendship is magic Season 6, Episode 24, Top Bolt. Thank you for listening. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe. If you like my art, you can find me on Tumblr and DeviantArt. If you really like my art and want to support me to continue doing it, I have a Patreon. I also have commissions. Please check link for commission availability.